Hi, I'm Charlene Collins Freeman, and welcome back to my workshop on Backyard Chronicles. In this short video, I wanted to share with you some of my nature sketchbooks. These are a little bit different than my Backyard Chronicles, but they get us going down that path. In some of these sketchbooks, I just chose subjects in nature that I've always been interested in and did quick studies of them, occasionally stopping to learn more about them, looking up the bird or the plant species, or trying to dig a little bit more deeply into what I was seeing. Sometimes these subjects were found around me and sometimes they were not. Some of these were done sitting at a park or sitting at home and just wondering about things. Oftentimes I just do a quick sketch and barely make any notes on them. Other times I wrote quite a bit on them, more as a journal. Some of these pages are lessons I've learned from other artists, learning how to draw birds or learning how to understand plants. I also explore different media, sometimes using pencil or just ink or combining pencil, ink, and watercolor. So these nature sketchbooks become a way to explore both subjects that interest me and to explore different media. And one of the best uses for a sketchbook is also teaching yourself how to get better and better at observing and capturing what we observe. I hope you enjoy these tours through several of my sketchbooks.
This next sketchbook is a botanical sketchbook. This is different than my nature sketchbooks in the sense that botanical art really seeks to recreate our botanical subjects as accurately as possible. While in my nature sketchbooks, I'm happier to just create the impression of what I see or quick studies, with botanical art, I'm really focused on understanding how to capture correct colors, correct anatomy, and sometimes even looking for all the different growth stages of a subject. This is a much more academic and scientific approach to uh, reproducing subjects we find in nature. I really enjoy this slow, methodical kind of work as well. For me, in my sketchbook practice, I like the two extremes, one of capturing nature more spontaneously, often on site, and one of really slowing down and observing nature slowly and methodically. Here is another format for sketchbooks. This is called the Perpetual Sketchbook, and my Perpetual Sketchbook is dedicated to nature. The idea with this particular type of sketchbook is to give each page or each spread a dedicated week of the year. There are 52 weeks in a year and I could not find a sketchbook that had precisely 52 spreads. So the way I worked it out is that on some weeks I just have one page and some weeks I have two pages so that I could fill out this entire sketchbook. Then on that particular week, I will do a small sketch and I will put the year underneath that sketch. The following year, I go through my sketchbook again and any week that I would like to sketch, I sketch in on that particular week. On this spread, you can see two sketches done during the same week of different years. And the same goes here, two different sketches from the same week. Here I have three sketches done from the same week of three different years. The idea is that year after year, you will slowly fill up all the pages. Eventually, as your perpetual sketchbook fills up, you'll find all these entries done over the years during the same week of each year. It's a really fun concept and clearly you can see I don't push myself to do a sketch in this every week. Some weeks I haven't done any. And then some weeks I happen to do three. It just happens that every year on that particular week I had the time and the thought to do a sketch. Each page ends up being a collection of sketches done during the same week throughout the years showing the variety of nature subjects that you approached on that given week, and also documenting your change in style, your improvement in techniques, different media that you explored different years. And that brings me to my Backyard Chronicles sketchbook. Here I'm really focused on the nature and the world outside my window. And this will be the focus of our workshop. I hope you enjoy these pages. I look forward to creating more along with you and seeing what you create from your backyard. Thanks for joining me.